but I've heard that like people get really, really into their projects. So I'm excited to get to that part of the whole thing. Since the pandemic, like I haven't been in a space with like this many friendly, excited people. Welcome to our sound boy. So I'm gonna have to. I'm from right outside Philadelphia, and I make websites. I also like websites. Web stuff. Web stuff. I would say probably web stuff. Right, the back end in HTML. <laughs> <laughs> I found like a team like two seconds ago. Yeah. Stuff. Maybe some sort of like interactive experience. It looks like, but it isn't. What if we had a desk lamp? that turned on inversely proportional to how fast you're typing. So the idea here is that the slower you type, the faster it, it turns on, the light. And, and so it incentivizes you to work harder and to, to continue writing code, right? And this is the idea. Using an AI model to generate um, kind of funny quotes. How would we do zeros and ones if one arm? We've known each other for less than 24 hours. Yeah. That's like really yeah, weird. That's so weird. And we see where the problem is, and we don't know how to fix it. So, <laughs> and we still. Um, and then you ask a friend. Yeah, and then we ask a friend. You don't have to build a model. I will I'll, I'll walk you through what you have to do. Okay. It's been interesting. But I'm learning loads about machine learning, AIs. It's really, really exciting to see all these new potentials and with that, Assemble, I wouldn't have been able to learn about any of these. Which means that scientific modeling is accessible to basically anyone with a key. I'm modifying a, a wall work, so for like an AC extension cable. And then the idea here is that we can turn on this entire power strip um, with this Arduino over here. And that's telling, the computer is telling the Arduino when to turn on and off uh, for the intervals for stroping. What are you thinking about? Fire extinguisher. <laughs> Using discord.js, simple command, socket IO server so that's front end there. Yeah. <laughs> As of now, the database is still not working, <laughs> but we're, we're, we're gonna figure it out eventually. So there's that. Once we're, what, we're, we're finished. <laughs> Precise. It's been working for nine times now. We've been trying to troubleshoot a non-existent effort. Although I'm quite happy to not be working on this one project anymore, I, I, I'd like to stay here. <laughs> and code so, more. And code more, yeah. yeah. But it finally works now. We turned a stuffed animal into a keyboard. Our keyboard uses binary. So you use the joystick to input ones or zeros and you shake it to erase the last drive. You guys can find your soul mates. We take words and do math with them, not just the letters, but the semantic meaning of them. 
How do we make people more productive? Now that I'm doing the work, the lamp will stop. Okay, but I, I take a break. How we do it? The light turns on faster, so this way we can ensure that us programmers are always typing. We have reached and surpassed what we are capable of. I've never seen anything else like this where it's entirely student run. It's hard to pinpoint one thing that was special because everything was special. These are one of like the most memorable moments of my life ever. I think it was about 40 hours ago when we all gathered here to kick off what was going to become the first in-person high school hackathon since the pandemic. And we freaking did it.